Hi guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys again another new light setup and also retouching. Now in today's tutorial I do have some new images, some portraits from a very talented and very very professional photographer. His name is Christian Girotto and I found these images here online. So please guys, this is no high quality images. I found them on his website and also please guys, this is not my work. Alright, so let's get started with our tutorial today. First of all, what I want to show you guys quick and easy is just talk a little bit about the light setup, how to get this light setup and how or what I think they have done to this image to get this light looking like this. So first of all, as you guys can see, this image also looks a bit weird. It's not a normal portrait. This has also a lot of retouching in here. So I will also discuss a little bit about the retouching, how they actually got the effect or how it's done to look like this. Alright, so let's get started with the light setup. So first of all, as well as you guys can see, it's a very even and nice background. So first of all, I think they've shot this again on a complete separate background. So obviously a light blue color or something in that direction. Then over here we have the model and behind the model as you guys can see here is a nice round uh, spotlight flare behind the person. So I guess over here they used a normal strobe with a small snood on there just to illuminate a little bit of that highlighted spot here in the background. Then as well left and right we see some nice highlights here and also on his jacket here on the right hand side you can see it actually a little bit better. We see this nice rim lights and they've actually created these rim lights with two strobes coming from left and right as you guys can see over here one strobe left and one strobe right and now guys these strobes actually have some grids inside of them let me just quickly go over here to my help layer get a red foreground color over here okay and I'm gonna go to my brush now and with the brush just paint in some stuff so the spread of these two lights here will actually fall like this so you will have a little bit of flare but due to the grids in here you won't have any flare so that's right and with the grids you can control this light very good so the light will most probably just fall to somewhere over here and also spill a little bit onto the jacket and half onto his face then also the lights I guess are a little bit higher somewhere over here so they actually spill like this. So you also get some nice hair light through that light that actually spills in there. The same over here as you guys can see here is pretty more highlighted uh, hair light so the light spills pretty good over here. Then again at the bottom you don't really see the lights going here to the bottom. Let me just turn off our help layer. As you guys can see down here is no light at all only till here. So that's why I'm also saying the light is just with a normal strobe, a small reflector on there and a grid. So the light control is very even and just around this small circle around here. Let me maybe just create another layer over here. So as well the light will just fall into this area. For that you guys can also use another uh, softbox for this, uh, actually a strip softbox, a vertical strip softbox as you guys can see over here I just changed it and that light it's also with a grid so first of all the spill will also be very controlled and you won't get any flare into your camera with this grid here and now with the light you can actually get a full out nice rim light around the person. So shooting it all the way will help you to get that nice rim light going all the way through if you shoot with a big softbox. If you shoot it without just a normal stroke like that, you will get only this certain small area over here. Alright, so they've used that most probably for that. Then as well, as you guys can see in the front, we have a nice beauty dish over here, lightening the front and the person's face really nice over here, giving enough light to spill evenly over the complete person. So I guess for the front, they've used just a nice big beauty dish without a grid, maybe a white beauty dish to get that really nice soft reflecting light. If you guys want to, you can also add another small poly board or something here at the bottom just to get another little light to bounce in there and just highlight these dark shadows down here. If you're not for that then you can leave it with art and you will get pretty much this effect. Then as well in the eyes you guys can pretty much see the round spot there. It looks like a beauty dish to me as you guys can see if I zoom in here obviously this is not a high quality shot so the distortion will be a bit there but over here you guys can see it now if I turn on my 
help layer again you can definitely see it in his eyes you can see the key lights in here so it pretty much looks like a beauty dish all right let's zoom out a little bit and that is most probably all they've done in the photography side shooting it at maybe a very high f-stop as well between f10 and f16 because as you guys can see this image is very very sharp used one of these techniques very high f-stop and very strong lightning and also very controlled all right so that's most probably all they used for the light setup so let me quickly just enable our light setup here and also go to the retouching side then also over here we have another image that's also from this photographer from another person so as you guys can see pretty much the same light setup everything looks the same and yeah let's go over to the retouching side we will discuss a little bit about what I think they've also done on the retouching side to these images okay let's open our retouching folder here and I'm gonna turn off the light setup and turn on both images here over here so first of all as you guys can see first thing that they've done to these images straight out of the camera into camera raw most probably and in camera raw they've sharpened these images so taking the sharpening level all the way up details and just bringing way way more sharpness into this image so that but might be the first step to get these images even to look like they're sharp then as well as you guys can see over here with the facial expressions they the faces do look a little bit bigger than the body actually so to get this effect I guess they most probably done a few techniques to cut out the head and then place the head again onto a new layer onto the body and then made the head a little bit bigger or stretch it and therefore I wrote a few techniques down let me just switch on my layer here okay so my first technique what I think they could have done is shot this on a gray background and then also merged in a new background I've also showed this technique in a tutorial previously so if you want to have a look go and check out this tutorial so either on a gray background and then merged in a new color and with the new background they also took out the faces and you were actually able to create bigger heads for these bodies that could be one technique then shoot directly on the background with no snoot added so what I basically mean with that is you shoot it on a flat background almost having the color like this over here this would eliminate a few things for all the retouching sides here with the hair and everything so you cut out the person's face on one image make it bigger and place it again on top of your image and then retouch everything out and at a later stage just add another spot into the background or my third option would be that they used a puppet warp tool and liquefying tool so the image is pretty much shot on this original background with a snoot in the background and then in Photoshop just with a puppet warp stretch the face a little bit bigger and also use liquefying and again the puppet warp tool just to get these expressions a little bit stronger and more kids friendly look out of this and make it look a little bit more funny obviously not too much they didn't overdo it it's a very controlled thing I guess okay then as well after that what I think they've also done to these image then again a lot of adjustment layers a few color layers for just getting the light right getting the adjustment levels layers right to get the nice pop in here and also added most probably a solid color as you guys can see over here let me just turn that on if it will look normal like this this is a pure solid color just with a normal color the same color as the background just to get the person's look and feel overall to the same co skin color as the background so if I would also take my layer over here switch that back again to color you guys will directly see how pale the skin gets and bluish so taking your opacity down then again say to just 10 to 5 percent you would really get a lot of skin colors or skin tones into the same direction as the background so most probably use something in that direction as well then again later stage some plugins for sharpening uh, this these images are sharpened so extremely good so I guess they've used again a few plugins for that I normally use Nick software with tonal contrast just to resharpen that a little bit with a low opacity on that then also to pass labs sharpening it in to pass labs also really helps me a lot and then also don't apply it at a full opacity most probably just a 10 to 25 to 30 opacity just adding it again on top then the next step I guess dodge and burning dodge and burning would definitely be a good stage in here 
because for the dodge and burning again if I'll just turn on my brush here as you guys can see most probably with the beauty dish your whole image will be quite flat so in dodge and burning you can have then again a hard layer and a soft layer so on the hard layer you would work in all these hair shadows here and everything in the beard you would get some more expressions here in the face also with the eyebrows around the eyes and the hair at the top most probably also all these wrinkles in here just getting them a pop a little bit more then again for the soft light also just shading here a little bit the nose structuring that a little bit and also maybe on the clothing a little bit the same with the person on the right also used a little bit of shading here most probably down on the necklines and also on the cheeks with women you always want to be a little bit more subtle then also down here on the nose and just using a lot of dodge and burning again with maybe hot layers also getting these highlights to pop a little bit more dodging actually these hairs here at the top so that's also a stage that I think they've done to this image to get a lot of dodge and burning going here again to get these more dynamic uh, 3d look out of these images and that could cartoonish look then also a last step again eyes most probably pop the eyes a little bit over here you can see it, these blue eyes pop a lot and also used a lot of uh, adjustment layers just to get the light even more to pop really nice get those nice highlights maybe even use the plugin for that to just let the light pop a little bit more and also dodge and burning like I said before and then last step just the final touches most probably again some light control with color just getting the colors and everything nice and also used a little bit of vignetting maybe maybe not this could be an option that you can play with adding but very very low opacity adding a bit of vignetting then last stage again another 10% or 5% opacity sharpening again so you get that really really sharp look to it then again final colors maybe I don't know maybe they tweaked a little bit more of the colors and also just to get the highlights to pop a little bit so yeah, that's I guess all they've done to these images. I hope you guys liked my quick tutorial today. Please do let me know in the comments down below what you think of this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. Thank you guys and see you all next time. Bye bye.